It must be very hard at times. It is hard, but I do think that one of the most important things as a family law solicitor, you must maintain a huge level of objectivity. It's not your case, it's the client's case. It's the person that's come into you because they're heartbroken, because the relationship is gone. It's the person that's coming into you because they can't handle the levels of abuse that are going on at home anymore. It's the person that's coming into you because they have no money left. Everything is controlled, everything in their life is controlled. So it is very hard to hear the stories. You will hear stories where people have just drifted apart and that's it and it's just a procedural aspect to it. But it is hard. But once you get into it, you have to maintain objectivity or else you're not doing your job because then it becomes your case as opposed to the client's case. How long does the divorce typically take? So, how long the divorce takes, I would say, depends on the parties involved. Because it, there are so many different aspects to a divorce that if you become embroiled in the small, tiny details, then it's going to take longer because you're starting to fight over the small things and you're forgetting about what your main objectives were when you came in. And I know it sounds a little bit emotionless to say objectives in a divorce, but the reality is you need to come out of it with somewhere to live, you need to come out of it with your kids looked after, most importantly, and you need to come out with a fair division of everything. So you can't just wake up one morning and say, I want a divorce today? Um, no, there is, there is time constraints on it. However, there are exceptions, for example, domestic violence situations where the timelines, when, if agreed, it can be overlooked a little bit. Why do people get divorced? It's an unending question. Could you split it 50-50 between two people who've just fallen out of love with each other and have moved on? versus a very complicated breakdown of marriages, you couldn't. Every case is so unique to its own facts that you, you, why do people get divorced is, it's, I, I would say that it's an unanswerable kind of question. Is it expensive to get a divorce? It can, it can be, yes, but it's important to know that a divorce in a situation where you have a couple perhaps with no property, maybe they're just renting, that's certainly something that's quite straightforward. The more assets, um, the, the, the more complications that are involved in each different case will increase the cost. Also, the attitude of the parties and the legal professionals involved. The shorter, the more concise it can be, straight, focus on what you're looking for, cuts out the complication and reduces the costs.